You love your cat, but occasionally they may spray inside the house to mark their territory or simply urinate outside the litter box by accident. Cat urine has a strong ammonia smell that can be difficult to get rid of. By treating fresh sprays promptly, removing old stains and preventing accidents in the first place, you can eliminate cat spray and make your home smell fresh again. How to remove cat spray This video will tell you How to treating fresh urine Removing spray from carpet and fabric Removing spray from hardwood floors and baseboards And preventing cat spraying Welcome to DailyNeedStudio.com What is cat spray? Cat spray is a strong-smelling urine that cats use to mark their territory. It contains pheromones and is usually sprayed on vertical surfaces. What are some effective enzymatic cleaners for cat spray? Some popular and effective enzymatic cleaners include Nature's Miracle, Rocco and Roxy, and Simple Solution. Follow the instructions on the label for best results. Method 1. Treating Fresh Urine Number 1. Blot the urine right away. If you see your cat spray in the house or find a wet urine stain, Blot the spot with a clean towel immediately. This will soak up as much urine as possible, diminishing the possibility of the pee soaking into your rug or upholstery. Number 2. Use water and a few drops of soap to dilute the damp spot. Get a bowl of warm water and put a few drops of mild soap in it. Use a clean towel to wipe the wet spot with the soapy water blotting with a dry towel. You can do this a few times until no traces of the original cat spray remain. Reader poll, we asked 196 WikiHow readers what their go-to cleaning product is for removing cat spray odor, and 59% said a homemade natural cleaning solution. Number 3. Sprinkle the spot with baking soda. Sprinkle the damp spot with a few tablespoons of baking soda, which is a natural cleaning agent. Spread the soda evenly. Be careful not to use more than a quarter cup, 120 grams, as excessive amounts can be more difficult to clean up. Let your baking soda sit on the peed spot overnight. Baking soda is non-toxic and is an ingredient in most kitty leaders. If your cat seems interested in eating the baking soda, however, you can block off the area to keep your cat away. Number 4. Vacuum the baking soda up. If your cat sprayed the carpet, use a full-size vacuum to clean up the baking soda the next morning. Go over the area as many times as necessary to suck up all the powder, so the area is clean to the touch. If your cat peed a mattress or another upholstered surface, use a handheld vacuum to clean up the baking soda. Number 5. Apply an enzyme-based cleaner. Even after cleaning up the area, some traces of urine will likely remain. Use an enzyme-based cleaner to eliminate any remaining traces of spray. Fully saturate the area and allow the cleaner to air dry. You can also use an enzyme-based cleaner on older odors. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 2. Removing spray from carpet and fabric. Number 1. Use water to dilute the urine-stained area. If your cat's urine stain has set for a long time, you will first need to dilute the stain. Get a bowl of warm water, and use a two clean towels to alternately dampen and blot dry the stained spot. 
Do this several times to dilute the stain as much as possible. Remember to only dampen the area. Getting it too wet could cause the stain to spread. You may want to wear rubber gloves for this. Your towels may start to take on some of the odor. However unpleasant, this is what you want, as it indicates you are drawing the stain out of the soiled area. Swap out your towels and continue diluting the stain as much as possible. Number 2. Use an enzyme neutralizing cleaner. Once you have diluted the stain as much as possible, use an enzyme neutralizer, such as Nature's Miracle, Odobin, or Zero Odor. These cleaners break down protein-based molecules in cat urine. After doing a test for color fastness on a hidden area of your carpet or upholstery, spray the area so that it is completely saturated with the cleaner, and allow it to air dry. Air drying can take multiple days, so it may be helpful to cover the area with plastic to keep the cleaner in place and away from your cat and other household members. Number 3. Launder or replace any items that retain traces of spray. If stained areas remain after using the enzyme neutralizer, remove slipcovers from any soiled items and launder with cool water. Air dry to avoid shrinkage in the dryer. If your cat has sprayed a carpet, consider replacing the rug pad beneath. These can contain synthetic materials that are more difficult to clean. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 3. Removing spray from hardwood floors and baseboards. Number 1. Start by cleaning the area with a damp cloth. Remember that cats spray vertically, so you will need to clean the whole area including the floor, baseboards, and lower part of your wall. Start by cleaning the area with a damp cloth to remove any wet spots or visible traces of the urine. From there, you can apply a stronger cleaner as necessary. Number 2. Try a hydrogen peroxide mask. This method is particularly useful if the urine left a stain. Soak a clean face cloth or hand towel in 3% hydrogen peroxide until it is saturated but not dripping. Wring the towel if necessary, and place the towel on the sprayed area. Let the towel sit for 2 to 3 hours to clean the offending spot. If you need to press the towel against a baseboard, use something disposable, such as a Tupperware, to wedge the towel against the wall. If the floor or baseboard is still damp when you remove the hydrogen peroxide towel, wipe the area dry with a clean cloth. Number 3. Use an enzyme-based cleaner formulate for wood floors. An enzyme-based cleaner is the best way to help you remove odor from your floors, but wood floors need a gentler formula than carpet. Use an enzyme-based cleaner formulated for wood floors by wetting the sprayed area with the cleaner and allowing it to air dry. You may want to test the cleaner on a small area of your floor before applying it to a highly visible place to ensure it won't cause any damage. Enzyme-based cleaners should not be used directly on untreated wood or subflooring, as this could cause damage. Number 4. Sand the wood down and refinish. If the stain is not dissipating, you have the option of sanding down your wood floor. This is not to be undertaken lightly because it is expensive and time-consuming, but it may be the best option to remove very deep staining. Sanding removes the top layer of wood and will effectively polish out the spray by buffing away the surface layer it lives in. Contact a professional contractor for a quote to perform this work without damaging your floor. Sanding is simpler to do with unfinished wood, a deck, for example, but can be accomplished with finished hardwood inside. A professional can help you match your existing finish properly. A contractor can replace and paint a piece of your baseboard if necessary. If the spray sunk deep into the wood, a contractor can also help you replace smelly or damaged areas. Did this video help you? 
Let's comment below. Yes or no. Method 4. Preventing Cat Spraying. Number 1. Spay or neuter your cat. Spraying is a natural mating behavior in intact cats. The easiest solution to problem spraying is to neuter or spay your cat before 5 months of age if you haven't already. Your cat's urge to spray should drop off dramatically. Number 2. Address any stressful changes in the environment. Changes in your cat's environment, such as a new cat or new baby, may seem small to you but they could feel upsetting for your cat. Try to address any new environmental shifts by providing slow introductions to new people and keeping your cat's routines as close to normal as possible. Number 3. Get your cat checked at the vet for any underlying health problems. If your cat's urination problems persist despite its being neutered and you're addressing environmental issues, you may want to take them to the vet. Some health problems, such as neutering complications or urinary tract infections, can cause your cat to urinate more frequently outside the litter box. Make a note of where your cat goes in the house, how often, and when your issues started so you can relate them to your veterinarian. Number 4. Look for litter box related issues. Cats are naturally inclined to use a litter box, so if your cat is avoiding theirs, there may be a reason for it. Try changing the location of the litter box or the litter you use. If you have multiple cats, make sure there are enough litter boxes so that each cat has one. Number 5. Use repellent products as necessary. Certain repellent products, such as four paws keep off. And nature's miracle pet block repellent, can discourage your cat from spraying in the house. Test your materials for colorfastness, and then spray the repellent thoroughly on the area your cat urinates. Number 6. 